In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the best tools that you can use to grow your YouTube channel, make more money online, and also save yourself some time when making your video. Now, these are some of my favorite tools that I use for running my YouTube business. Now, I have over 750,000 followers and over 400 million views on the internet. That's across my main YouTube channel and also TikTok. And these are things that I use every single day to maintain and run the business and also tools that my staff use. So the first one that I want to share with you is the one that's going to make you the most money off of the views that you get on your channel, and that is Kajabi. Now, relying on YouTube AdSense is one aspect of your YouTube business, but the best way that I've been able to grow multiple channels in the short space of around two years is by having a cash cow channel, which is my Ben Rollins Music. On this channel, I create tutorials for various different pieces of music equipment, and then I redirect that channel over to my main website where I sell them product guides, and these range from about $57 to $67, some of them are around $100, and that allows us to take a small amount of views and traction and monetize it way more than you would with a YouTube AdSense. For a bit of perspective, this YouTube channel makes like 500 pounds a month off of YouTube AdSense, but makes thousands and thousands of pounds of a month off of the online course sales that have nothing to do with YouTube. What Kajabi does is it's basically a website builder that enables you to create a bespoke website that you can then sell and host the online courses on. So basically uh, people can go over there. It's like a bit like Squarespace, but like a, a nice website with a template, but it also has the ability to sell digital products. Then the online courses in particular have features like you know, progression completion rate. Uh, they have like certificates, etc. All these other aspects that you don't get from things like Shopify because Shopify is fantastic. You can use Shopify and integrate that with the YouTube shop. And I also do use Shopify for some products and you can sell digital products with Shopify, but you can't sell online courses with Shopify, which is, which is a huge problem. Uh, like, you know, unless you're going to send them a big massive zip file with like gigabytes and gigabytes of footage that they have to download, it's very clunky. So if it's a PDF, that's fine. You use Shopify. Kajabi basically allows you to create a walled garden, a closed off garden where people can go in there and access paid only content way better than using something like Patreon. I hate it when I see YouTubers using Patreon because Patreon just uh, cane them on the commission that they take and you're redirecting them over to a website where you don't own the customers. Whereas on Kajabi, you send them over to the website, you get the customer email address so if you ever get cancelled or anything ever happens to your accounts that get hacked or deleted you've still got all of those email addresses so you can at least contact the most loyal side of your audience then through word of mouth they can find you on your new platforms wherever you relocate to whereas with a thing like patreon you don't own any of it so it's just the same problem you're redirecting all of these customers over to a site where they're paying you per month or paying you for exclusive content like an online course you don't even own the person that, that, that that's that's a part of that a, pa a patreon own them so kajabi allows you to create your own community area or online course area, even better than a, a Discord as well, because again, you own it. Gives you all of these options that you can do on there. You can also do online coaching. So if that's relevant to your business, like that, that could fit a whole platitude of different uh, webs uh, of YouTubers, you know, guitar lessons, uh, video editing lessons, uh, even like gaming tips and tricks like Call of Duty coaching or whatever. It could fit a whole a whole raft of different genres and niches on YouTube. Now, if you use the link in the video description down below, I can get you an extended 30 day free trial to Kajabi, which is 16 days extra completely for free that you don't get anywhere else unless you use that link. This will give you loads of time to build the website, build out a course, figure out how you want to use it, and also integrate it into your YouTube business. Selling online courses completely revolutionized my journey as a YouTuber. For example, my main YouTube channel gets 25 million views per month, and that channel would have existed if it wasn't for the cash flow from my music music channel that only gets 100,000 views per month. That allowed me to expand and grow, bring on staff, etc. all because of the online courses and the real business that we built behind it. You don't have to get millions and millions of views on YouTube to be incredibly successful. You just need to find a clever way to monetize that attention and redirect it elsewhere. On the topic of garnering a lot of attention, let's talk about YouTube Shorts. Now, YouTube Shorts is by far one of my favorite features on YouTube, everybody say, oh, YouTube Shorts destroy your channel. Those guys have no idea what they're talking about and they've never made a YouTube Short that's actually impactful or they don't even have the correct audience for YouTube Shorts. I talk a lot about this inside of a course that I recently released on Skillshare. If you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link to that in the d description down below. If you get yourself a free trial with that link as well, whatever you want. But in that class, I show you how to make YouTube Shorts that actually go viral and get millions of views. Like my most viewed YouTube Short has about 15 million views, I think. So I'm the guy, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I know what I'm talking about. But I think YouTube Shorts are incredibly powerful for growing your uh, platforms and also for popping up in people's feeds and them recognizing your face. Now, if you don't want YouTube Shorts to be a predominant part of your strategy, you think they're a waste of time because most of the time they, they do lose a lot of money because of the rubbish ad rate on YouTube. TikTok's a little bit better with that new partner program that they've got on there, around 40p per thousand view, which is quite lucrative. A tool called Opus AI is going to allow you to automate this process completely. 
So for example, if you just like making long format YouTube videos like I am right now, and you have a lot of vi vi valuable tips and tricks within that video, you can use a tool like Opus AI and literally just copy and paste the URL link from your fully edited long format video into Opus AI, and it will just go through and it will scan all of it and just find relevant topics that it thinks has the most viral potential as a YouTube short. Sure, this is fantastic if you do educational content or also things uh, such as podcasts that you don't want to clip out like hours and hours worth of footage. It will literally just take that fully edited video that you just have to edit once and then it will it will edit it into a short. It's incredible, like a 30 second short, 40 second short. You can choose how long you want the vertical video clip to be. And then in addition to all of this, it will then caption it with beautiful looking text, emojis and also animations. And it will cut the video up so you don't have to edit the video or cut out different elements of it. And then it will just reframe it to size. I tried this out on a really unoptimized video. It was like an Xbox accessories video, my most viewed video on my main channel, about two and a half million views I think it has on that long play. I just threw it into Opus AI because you can do some free free tests on there for, for a few hours worth of footage, see if it works or not. And I was quite flabbergasted by the results. Like the results were pretty usable and you could literally take that clip, re-edit it on Opus AI, I believe, or you could just throw it into your video editing software and maybe add additional B-roll or trim it down just a tad further just to make it perfect but it saved me hours and hours of trawling through footage and it also means if you don't have the money for staff or like editors like I've got the privilege I've got a lot of editors to do different bits and bobs then this allows you to at least crank out a higher volume of content if that's the approach that you want to do but obviously reduces the time exertion in order to achieve that on the topic of time management and also saving and prioritizing time by far one of the most underrated tools that I have used is Notion. Now Notion is uh, pretty synonymous for productivity. Uh, it's very, very popular, but my favorite thing is it's free. Like I, I share this Notion document with like five editors and I've never paid a penny mate to Notion. It's completely free. And there are paid plans that unlock further features. There's also AI elements on Notion as well that also saves you a bit of time. A little bit like ChatGPT. It will um, like research topics for you or help like plan out a script, which is pretty cool. Um, I've tried them out, not too bad. It helps the, get the ball rolling if you dry on some ideas. But the way I use it is a complete dashboard to monitor what videos are being uploaded per week, who's been allocated that video for editing, whether they've been paid or not, what date is it going live, which channel is it going live on, and it's brilliant. So the cool thing about Notion is you can build out these super complex spreadsheets, basically, that you would usually build out in something like uh, Microsoft Excel, but you, you need a high level of skill to do that. You can build out these plug and play style dashboards and, and spreadsheets and customize them beyond belief in order to work how you require them just to track things a little bit better in your life. I've talked extensively about how I use Notion in some of my classes on Skillshare and some of my online courses about YouTube on my website. But this is just a brief overview of what it looks like. You can see that I have all of my video titles within each of these is basically like a container. And this container has the video script inside of there. So it's just a YouTube short, so it's just a little paragraph. But I script all my videos out word for word for my shorts, just so they're super impactful and intentional, which is why they're so successful with over 100 odd percent watch attention and a low swipe rate. So they, they pop off very consistently. And then from here, you can see who it's been allocated to. So this, I can monitor whether it's been filmed, whether it's in the writing process, whether it's product pending. So we're waiting for something to show up in the post. So this is great for just tracking whether you've ordered the products or not, uh, whether it's ready to be filmed, whether it's in editing, whether it's been uploaded to the drive for the editor like the footage, and then you can see which editor it's been allocated to. So you can see, you know, is it requested, i.e. I've paid them, are they editing it but missing footage? So I would mark that as B-roll saying that they've only got the Cam A stuff, they need some more stuff from me, uh, and then etc. so on. There's all these other things, what date gets tracked, uh, it, it, it's going to go live on, and then everything segregated into batches. So the whole week we upload around for 50 to 51 weeks of the year, depending on the channel, out of the 52 weeks in a year. So each batch is corresponding with that week, batch 39, so week 39, week 40, week 41. Great tool, this is completely free, mate. <laughs> and it's, it's completely changed how I work remotely with all of my editors, because none of them are on site. They're all here, there, and everywhere, different parts of the UK, different over in Europe, whatever. And it just allows us to work as a unit. Now, my next YouTube tool is highly overrated, and it's not for the reasons why everyone else suggests it. And that's things such as TubeBuddy and vidIQ. I hate both of these tools. I think they're used incorrectly by 99% of people. Everybody goes, you need TubeBuddy and vidIQ for uh, SEO and, and tracking all of that nonsense. SEO doesn't matter in 
in the modern time on YouTube. It's all about optimizing the video for a human being to click on it so it then gets popped off in the browse traffic source rather than YouTube search. YouTube search only accounts for, I think, something less than 20% of traffic on the platform. So why would you optimize your video for the least used traffic source when browse and things just naturally being recommended to people is the better route? totally ridiculous. It's just pushed this tool by gurus that have never built a proper YouTube channel. I get over 25 million views per month on one YouTube channel and I do not waste any time SEOing anything. But then some guy that gets about 200,000 views per month, they'll be telling you how TubeBuddy makes his videos go viral. Complete joke. Anyways, the reason why I still suggest using either TubeBuddy or vidIQ is I do like some of the tools that are av available within it. First is with TubeBuddy, you have the ability to A-B test thumbnails. Now the thumbnail is the most important thing for a video popping off. Thumbnail times watch, uh, watch time, video will go viral. If you've got huge watch time on there with a 10, 8% click through rate, job's nailed. That's all you gotta worry about. It doesn't matter how many keywords you cram in that description, doesn't, not a factor that's considered. But with this A-B testing TubeBuddy feature, it allows you to make two thumbnails uh, and, and upload them at once and then TubeBuddy will naturally switch them out depending on which one's getting the most traction and is the most impactful. I believe YouTube is going to be releasing this as a native feature pretty soon, but it is uh, currently only available within TubeBuddy and it just saves you time from worrying too much about the thumbnail and which one is doing better and, and hyper obsessing over that click-through rate like in real time. TubeBuddy has some other super cool features. It is very useful for actually researching the topic, to be fair to it, like when you type in keywords, it does allow you to see what the demand is for a particular topic, so whether it's worth doing a video on or not. But with vidIQ, I think this is probably the stronger option to choose. Now, what I love about vidIQ is the elements of competitor tracking. So if you have the higher tier plans on the vidIQ website, rather than using the plugin, you can actually make a list of your competitors within your space and track them actively within a sheet. So it allows you to see what their monthly views were, what their current views are, what their most best performing videos were this month. It just allows you to see if your views were down, was that person's views down as well? So is it something to do with you or is it just market forces that was dictating like the kids were back at school or something like that? So everyone's views were lower or, or they were higher because the kids were on summer holidays or something like that. So it allows you just to monitor things in your space just a little bit better to understand what's going on and also to pick up on some trending topics. So there might be an, a, like an Apple event or a PlayStation event and a few channels have done a video about some new product or some new update. And you can see that within the vidIQ dashboard and go, oh bloody hell, that video is getting like 4,000 views per hour on that guy channel. I'm going to make that video as well because it's clearly got a lot of interest. Some other cool things vidIQ has is AI related. So it can recommend better video titles, which to my surprise, I actually used this on one of my most viewed videos. This video right here that's called uh, this $300 gaming PC is ridiculous. Originally, I titled this as I bought the cheapest gaming PC on Amazon and un underperformed. I then switched out the thumbnail, performed a little bit better. Then I switched out the title for vidIQ's title, which was this $300 PC is ridiculous. And, and it, it popped off. Unbelievable, like crazy. So that is an amazing tool, especially if you have a video that isn't performing how you wanted it to, or you're not too sure how to package it, it will use all of its AI knowledge to see how other people have done videos on a similar topic. And then you can just sort of not even necessarily use the complete title it suggests, which is what I didn't do. I just used an element of it. And then you can tweak it accordingly with your expertise to make sure that it performs as as it could. This is a super cool tool. You can also use some of the AI, AI tools for video idea recommendations. This works okay, but the problem is as your channel becomes bigger, the AI tool starts to recommend your own video titles back to you. So when I was a small channel with like 10,000 subbies, the VIQ tool was great. It would say, oh, you should maybe make video ideas on this or ideas on that or this. These are popular within your niche. But then as I became one of the bigger channels within the space, like the Xbox space, it just starts to recommend my own videos to me. Like, you should make a video on, can the Xbox replace a gaming PC? It's like, I already did, mate. I'm the guy that got a million views on it. And so it's like, it's a little bit annoying at that perspective, but it's pretty cool that it exists, especially if you're smaller and trying to grow. I'll leave a link to all of these down below in the video description. I think you get some special perks if you use the link as well, like extended free trial or, or something, or some saving, whatever. I'll leave a link down below and you can check those out. Now, my final recommendation is going to be some editing software that's completely free and will improve the quality of your videos. And this is called DaVinci Resolve. Now, DaVinci Resolve, I'm sure you've heard of it before, but this is a complete editor that has like 99% of everything that you need in order to make high quality YouTube videos. Now, there is a paid plan for around 200 pounds, 300 pounds, something like that. 
But if you get the paid plan, it's a one-time license. So you pay once, then you get free upgrades for lifetime. It's insane. So I bought DaVinci Resolve Studio on 17 and I'm still getting upgrades and we're on like 18.8 or whatever. It's something crazy like that. It just keeps getting updated and updated. So it's actually cheaper than purchasing something like even Premiere Pro that's on a rolling monthly subscription because you just buy that license and you just get all of the latest and greatest features for eternity. I'll leave a link to everything mentioned down below in the video description. Don't forget to check out Kajabi if you actually want to start making some money from your YouTube channel despite how large it actually is and grab yourself that extended 30-day free trial. Give yourself plenty of time to get it set up and up and running.